And now, Wake Up Central on THV 11, featuring Amanda Yeager, meteorologist Scott Covert, and Hayden Balgavy. It is Friday, November 5th, and you're watching Wake Up Central. Thank you for joining us. I'm Hayden Balgavy. Happy it is Friday. Let's go. I'm Amanda Yeager, <laughs> and we're happy to see temps warming up. I told Scott I was very upset this morning when I had all that frost on my windshield. I had to sit there and wait yep. for it to warm I, up and melt. And everyone yeah. needs to look to you as an example of what not to do this morning. What not to do. Go outside a couple of minutes early, take a look at that windshield, <laughs> find that scraper. You've not used it in several months. It may slow you down this morning if you don't. Yeah. Look to Amanda Yeager. She was a few minutes hey, late to defense, work this morning. I got, I got that new car. Haven't transitioned all my stuff into the new car. So. Amanda, it's been months. It's truly. It's literally I, been, I truly have no it's excuse. It's been months. But. You got that car in July. <laughs> hey, if you're headed off to the school bus stop this morning, temperatures not going to warm up much at all. In fact, it's 33 now. Your bus stop temperature 33 indeed. 52 by lunch recess. 57 this afternoon. We have a plenty of sunshine on tap for today. There's a little bit of fog. You may run into that this morning on your drive into work or school. And of course, some frost on those windshields. It's going to be a mild afternoon, but we get warmer going into the weekend. In fact, I'm just going to call it a near perfect fall like weekend. The warming trend well, it continues into next week. How warm it's going to get and of course how long it's going to last. Those are questions I'll be answering for you here coming up in your full forecast. As we work to keep you safe and sound on the roads, we want to update you on several construction projects. Now, one of those is Interstate 30 in downtown Little Rock. Drivers there can expect some big changes this weekend. Wake Up Central's Michael Aaron is live with more on that and a progress report on some other big construction projects. Good morning, Michael. Hayden, Amanda, good morning. Between Interstate 30, Interstate 430 and Cantrell, there is a lot happening in terms of construction out on Arkansas roads. The easiest way to explain what you can expect here on Interstate 30 through downtown Little Rock is a miniature version of what's taking place on Interstate 430 over the Arkansas River on the river bridge there. You're probably familiar with those concrete barriers and that single lane that tends to throw people off a little bit, at least at first. So we want to walk you through exactly what to expect here on Interstate 30. So this is between 6th and 9th streets. RDOT is borrowing a lane from the westbound side and making an eastbound lane. Eastbound drivers will notice the lane shift a bit and the converted lane will have concrete barriers on each side. This all starts this weekend and goes until this upcoming summer. Interest, entrance and exit ramps will not be affected by this. It is all part of the 30 crossing project to widen seven miles of Interstate 30 through downtown Little Rock and North Little Rock. Of course, you see all the construction out here on the uh, river bridge here as well. This phase of the project is scheduled for completion in January of 2025. RDOT says as of right now it's on schedule, but we do have a long way to go. Uh, now let's go to Interstate 430, another area with a lot of construction, as I mentioned. Crews are taking the north and southbound shoulder and reconstructing those to create an extra lane on each side. Those will be open during high traffic time, so the morning and evening commute, the exact times aren't worked out yet, but we'll keep you updated on that as this project should be complete by this summer. And finally, work continues to widen Cantrell from four to six lanes near Interstate 430. RDOT will build an overpass where the Rodney Parham stoplight once stood. Preparations are underway there right now. You probably have noticed some uh, different traffic patterns in that area if you drive through there. In all of these situations, RDOT simply asks drivers to be patient. There is a lot happening, and, and I mean, I asked the other day, I said, is it normal to have uh, three, four major projects going on in Little Rock, Central Arkansas at the same time? It's not. It's a very active time, um, which is good. Dave Parker there says that nobody likes road construction until it's over because, uh, again, there are quite a few changes out on Arkansas roads right now. The best thing that RDOT says you can do is to just give yourself a little bit of time and watch for signage, that they have signs up in all of these situations trying to alert drivers ahead of time, but to just take a minute and be extra careful. Guys, back to you. Well, as somebody who grew up in Cabot driving to Little Rock a lot, let me just say it's been 31 years of construction. At least it feels that <laughs> way here in Central Arkansas. Michael, thank you so much for those really important updates as we head into the weekend. Oh, if we don't only keep you safe on the roads, the holidays are near and scammers are ready. So let's help you keep your money safe and sound as well. 
Right now, the North Little Rock Police Department says someone is calling people impersonating a lieutenant. It isn't clear yet what the scammer is after, but it's likely your money or your identity. However, one thing is clear from the Better Business Bureau in Arkansas. Scams jump up this time of year, and this tactic is getting more and more common. Or we're with the sheriff's department or your local police department, and there's a warrant or there's a problem. We need your social security number, your driver's license, you know, a payment form of some sort. That's not how those individuals will get in touch with you if they need to contact you. But there are easy ways to keep yourself safe. Always be skeptical of someone or something you don't know. When in doubt, hang up and look up the agency's real phone number to ask them about the supposed issues. You can also use bbb.org slash scam tracker to see if something is a scam near you. We told you how the Little Rock School District is using your tax money for the recently passed millage extension. Now we are hearing from the Pulaski County Special School District on their plans for upgrades. About about $80 million will now spread throughout the district after voters signed off on the millage extension this week. The money will be used for building renovations, especially at Mills High School south of Little Rock, which gets $15 million and Robinson getting $30 million. But as Superintendent Charles McNulty explains, other schools are getting help as well. Same with Baker Elementary or Harris Elementary or College Station. You know, in fact, uh, Maumelle has not doesn't have an indoor uh, practice facility. They're the last uh, athletic department that doesn't have one, so we're going to meet the needs of that community. The millage passed with 64% of the vote. And don't forget, you only have three days left to vote on the Central Arkansas Library millage. If approved, this would be the first tax increase the library system has seen in 15 years. The millage could generate more than $2 million, which would go towards staffing salaries, digital books and technology and internet upgrades. You have today, Monday and Tuesday, to cast your ballot. You can vote at the Pulaski County Regional Building on West Markham from 8 to 5. If passed, it will raise property taxes by about $14 more per year for a Little Rock home. 637 this Friday morning and time is running out for you to enter on our first ever Wake Up Central cutest pet contest. The winner will not only see their pet on TV, but you will also get a big old check for <laughs> 1000 bucks. Who doesn't want an extra thousand dollars, especially at the holiday season? Right, and if you don't want it, we'll take it. Just saying. <laughs> All this week we've been taking submissions, and as you can see behind us, just right behind me and Scott here, a lot of you guys are sending in pictures, and let me tell you, Oh my gosh, this is going to be so hard. There are some cuties out there. We are getting a ton of dogs, which I must say I'm partial to, but it's not just dogs and cats. You can send in any pets you've got. We've seen lizards, donkeys, raccoons, you name it, we've seen it. Yeah, some things I'm like, wait, is that really a pet? Oh, that's a pet. <laughs> oh, that is a pet. Oh, submit your that pet That is a fix. floofster if I've oh, ever yeah. seen one. Keep sending them in right here. Here's your info, thv11.com slash cutest pet. Just keep on sending men. Remember, we got a little bit of time left. You got any front runners, guys? Are we seeing oh, any front runners? I right can't now? even begin. I did see a donkey <laughs> yesterday that was dressed up, and it just made my day. It was a hoot. The donkey? Uh, yeah, yeah, the donkey. You got to be creative. You know, you got to find something to stand out because we're getting so many of these photos. So it's gonna be it's gonna be tough. Aww, peekaboo. See, that's creative. That's well, creative. It's the, cute. The one thing you need to know about me oh, is I'm hello. biased towards dogs. I try not to be, <laughs> but I need to know the one thing about the weather. The one thing about the weather today. It's a good day to get your pets outside. Whether I don't know, you're gonna take a cat on a walk. It's kind of weird, but whatever. 50 57 is your high temperature in Little Rock today. Low 60s in southern Arkansas. Not warm enough for you. Good news, we get even warmer going into the weekend. How hot it's going to get and how long the nice comfortable temperatures stay around. I've got those details coming up when we return.